Shoo! What's going on, folks? Not sure if you can see me. Let me jump on into the headlights. Welcome back. Good morning. It's a brisk, cool, crisp morning here. Uh, we are going to be doing a little bit of duck hunting. Now, there's that lighting. I think I, that looks good. Now, um, we're going to do a little duck hunting. Start it off at the farm. We're going to grab the meal. We're going to actually head back to the beaver dam. That's our favorite spot. Favorite spot to hunt. Hands freaking down. We're going to go there. But we've got one little change. Uh, it, last time, it seemed like since we didn't have a blind, it was a little bit tough to get the birds to come close. So we came up with an idea. We're like, well, what if we duck hunted in a ghillie suit? And then I looked and realized I couldn't find any of my ghillie suits. So then, boom. Boom. Homemade ghillie suits. Brilliant idea. So what are they exactly? Just here, you go over here. That way the folks just at home can see. Blind material. Camel blind material. So it's just a, a sheet. Yeah. So you're going to turn that into ghillie suit. Yeah. How are you going to do that? Poncho. Cut your hole there, guy. While he's cutting his hole out, I want to let you guys know that Ducks is doing a massive, the biggest Black Friday sale yet. And it'll be linked down below if you guys want to check it out. But it's not only on Black Friday. It actually starts tomorrow on Thanksgiving Day. Thursday goes to Friday, to Saturday, and even to Sunday. So on Thursday, on Thanksgiving Day, all t-shirts are up to 20% off. On Friday, all hats are up to 20% off. On Saturday, all hoodies are up to 20% off. And Sunday, all calls are up to 20% off. So it'll be linked down below. There's new sales each and every single day. So if there's certain items that you guys want, get a bigger discount on those specific days. I'll have more information linked down below if you guys want to go check it out. How's that going? You can't see me. Look at that. You can lay down. Banjo looks like a bush. I'm a bush. You actually look really good, honestly. Know, you, you literally only see your head it right there. It literally covers your whole body. So it's like perfect. And those are probably like, those gotta be like five, five bucks, bucks or something. Walmart. Versus like an actual ghillie suit. It's like, I mean, pushing. I mean, I think some of my nice ones like a hundred bucks. So yeah. might have a little bit of a life hack for you guys. So we're going to do a homemade ghillie suit duck hunting challenge at the Beaver Dam. It's cold. My hands are numb. We're going to get everything unloaded or loaded into the mule. Head out there. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! We made it out here, folks. It's cold out here. We got the deeks out. Okay. Strat. We, we got them all out because we, we were we, English is tough. We were worried we would not have enough time. But can you see Uncle Banjo over there? What's he doing? I got my ghillie suit. So he's on the island. Our decoy spread situation is hugging this side, couple here, pocket here. There's no wind. We have no motion decoys like that ripple the water, unfortunately. They were raining in here pretty good the other day. So we're going to hope the best. It, there was a little thin layer of ice on this, but I think it's gone now. As soon as that sun comes up, it should go away. So we're going to go ahead and get on the island. We've got about 10 minutes till shooting light. Throw the ghillies on and see what happens. You guys stay tuned. Shoot him. I let you get the one in the air. Yeah, I know. I missed that one. Oh, really? Yeah. He was like in the tree. There was one on the left. I let Banjo get it, and there was one that landed in front of me, and I thought it would get up from Banjo's shot, and it didn't. But uh, we got one down, son. You, you Are you a Susie killer, Banjo? You if, gonna, it's, if it's brown, it's down. You're going to let her pass. She just landed behind us. I, I want to go stand over there. What do you think? Where? In the trees. We got the ghillies on. They ain't gonna see okay. us. We're gonna move. We'll let Susie pass for now. We're gonna make a move. What the heck? Hope you guys enjoyed that last 27 minutes of birds flying. You guys watched that group for over 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Yeah. It circled and quacked back at me. Wouldn't come in. That was a different group I think that finished. And they didn't I even really so, finish. Yeah. Right, right in front. Hey, see you later, Rick. Oh, we got him. Banjo got him. There we go. I'm up to three. Banjo's got one. It's not that they were even seeing us. Like, they would have left if they saw us. There's, there's no wind, and they just took their time. Took their. I've never had a group of ducks circle so many times that low. Literally 15 minutes of bird watching. And we just said two came, and we just let her eat. Well, we're up to four now, son. Gaddies. It's a gaddy day, son. Look at that guy. This is that first one that I pooped. The gaddies love this spot. Oh. 
my other one's right here on this shore so we're gonna go back to the island i don't the gillies i think worked they didn't see us but i'm kind of tired of kneeling in the water my hands are kind of cold we got a little heater it's cold out here son that's cool to watch i mean i like bird watching but she was quacking at me too my only thought you guys let me know my only thought is like they were trying to convince like these decoys to go with them that's the only thing i can think of because if they saw us they would have left they never left they would circle quack circle quack 15 minutes straight so let me know i think maybe they wanted to oh rip maybe they wanted us to join the the party or something i'm not sure we're gonna go ahead and sit down start if we can get a few more The old timber splat right there, son. That was a that was a old that was the old hail mary. That was the old tree trimmer, three thousand there, guy. Banjo just got the old green wing. He came in, and by the time I I didn't even like realize how close he was, I wasn't even gonna call it. And I was like, oh shoot, take. He ended up being up in the tree. Banjo gave him the old one two punch. So Banjo got a stick in his ass. Look at that thing. You liked it too, didn't you? Oh. Hey guys, how's it going? We gotta start a new segment. I've been starting to drink chocolate milk, like in the blind. Game changer. Really? Yeah, you missed it. I did it on opener. But who buys that brand? That's all they had, right? It actually tastes good. 38% less fat than whole milk. Yeah, see, I'd rather go that whole milk route, yeah. but... <sighs> Dude, something about... I mean, most people sip hot coffee. We used to do hot chocolate as kids. Hot chocolate. That Ovaltine. Slapped. Yes, that's The Banjo's a huge Ovaltine. When we were yes. kids, he would sit there and like... Mm-hmm. He'd just sit there and... That slapped. And just watch the ducks. That's exactly what they look like, too. This is a new movie. You know, it doesn't warm my soul at all. It freezes it, but... Mm. <sighs> Hits different. How's that burrito going? Okay. I left mine in the truck. A oh, rip. rip. We brought a heater. I, I bought a, a gas station burrito. That's always dangerous. That's got to be ice cold. Yeah. <laughs> That's got to be ice cold. I bought a gas station burrito, which is always a mistake when you're in waiters, but I left it in the truck. I was gonna. I got a little heater. I was going to heat it up and have a little, you know, a little cooking session out here. Rip. But we've got a few birds down, nothing too wild. If we if we were, I say, I think I feel like I say it every hunting. If you're on our A game, we'd be limited out by now. Every freaking time I suck. Because we could have had the two mallards that landed behind us. Bunch of birds in the deal. We were waiting for the big groups. We're trying to give you guys a show. We're trying to see it rain down. Rain ducks. But sometimes when you do that, it costs you because then you lose the ones. It's like a, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. It's worth more than two in the bush. What's that sound? Saying? That sound? Who says that? Sound? Who says it? A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush or is worth more than two in the it's bush? It's worth more than two in the bush. Yeah, which yeah, is yeah. exactly what it is. So like a, a duck in the decoys is worth more than two flying. I feel like that's a good comparison, no? You like that? No. Sure. I, like I wouldn't that. say one in the decoys. I'd say like one that we shoot. No, I'm saying like, okay, so you, you know, we're, we're, we got big big group of birds circling, two laying in the decoys, but we oh, wait for the rest, right? Okay, so it's like okay, one yeah. in the decoys is worth more than two in the sky. We've been thinking that the two in the sky are worth more, so we wait and it costs us the one anything. in the decoy because you don't get anything. I mean, sometimes it pays to wait. I have had many times where it pays to wait and you get the big group coming in. But I saw on Banjo, I'm like, especially with us shooting, like odds are you're you maybe it will drop two a person. So if you've got two in the decoys, you might as well just let her eat. The wise words of homemade ghillie suit boy. Shoot him, shoot him. You got him. There you go. That's the old Drake. Greenhead. You better go get him. He's wounded. Banjo's got a greenhead. I green couldn't head. hear much after you shot. You like that? He landed right on this ridge here. His head's up. His head's down. Woo! We got two, baby. Banjo got the old greenhead, too. So a greenhead came in, and he landed over there. As we shot, as I shot the one in the tree, it came over, and Banjo let her eat. So, hey, we got two more. Let me see that greenhead, Banjo. Look at that guy. Look at this. Double curl. Shoo, curls for the girls there, boys. Banjo got the old green head. Well, we're gonna call it good here. We've been here long enough, but we're gonna come back. We're not ending the video right here. We didn't shoot enough. I only shot four, you shot three. Pool jet, you ain't shot none. So we still have a few more birds to go. The wind is just non-existent right now, but this evening, it should be blowing pretty good, like 15 out of the north, which is always key. Um, we're thinking we're gonna run home, hang out, film some other stuff, and then come back out tonight, leave the decoys, come back out tonight, but we're gonna bring Lucy. Um, it should be nice and warm by then. We were, we're gonna bring her this morning, but I was like, ah, it might just be a little bit cold. Should be warmer by then, should have some good wind. We'll see if we can polish off our limit. So, we'll see you guys later. All right, can I get a four for four with a double stack? All right, Dan, will that be everything for you? No, uh, do another four for four with a double stack, spicy nuggets, barbecue sauce, and a Dr. Pepper. All right, and will that be everything? And then, uh, last thing, I'll just get a 10-piece chicken nugget. Just some nuggets? Yeah. Any sauce? No, thanks. All right, 1176 plus wonder if that's everything. That is the loudest thing I've ever heard. My ears are ringing. Lucy, how you doing there, buddy? Well, we're showing you we're going to Wendy's because I forgot to bring her Scooby snacks for retrieving ducks, so she gets, uh, Lucy got you a 10 count of Wendy's chicken nuggets. Oh, that's fine. Lucy, come here. 
Oh, rip. Oh, Lizzie. lost the nuggie. Lizzie. If you bring me a duck, this is what you get. Do we have a deal? I don't. Shoo! All right, folks, we made it back. So, that's what it looks like in the daylight. We're sitting right over there by that island. I haven't seen Lucy. Hey, we gotta get your jacket on, buddy. You gotta get your little warm vest on. You wanna put that on? We're gonna go ahead and put her vest on so she stays nice and toasty. It is cold out here, though. I'll tell you what. It got colder. I thought this afternoon how it was gonna be warm. No, it's it's chilly out here. Lucy, quit getting wet. We gotta get your jacket on, buddy. How's that homemade ghillie suit looking? Do I look good? I think, I think you so. You don't look like you're sitting. You look, you look like, like a bush. Just, Lucy, close. Lucy, what do you? Come here, buddy. Hey, no, leave the birds. Hey, we shot those earlier, guy. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Everybody wants to see you in your little little vest. Come here. Come here, come here. Oh, you, you've knocked your camera over. Lucy, hey, come back. Come back, come back. There, we're gonna have Lucy POV here if we get some birds going. There, look at her. This is perfect. She's got a nice little island. Hey, no, uh-uh, you leave it. Those are birds we already got, Lucy. All right, well, we'll see how she does. I can only shoot two. You can shoot three. Three. Full jet. He's sleeping. He's got six. We have how much time? About, about an hour? Yeah, about an hour. Yeah. We have one hour. So, see if we can make something happen. What do you think, buddy? Are you chilly? Are you shivering? There's a cold doggy. We didn't get nothing loose. <laughs> really? <laughs> Whose idea was this? Not mine. Hey, Rick. Hey, how you doing? You're gonna have to clean that tonight. No, that's a you thing, guy. What do you mean? Oh, Can I shoot? Sure. Well, I didn't know about shooting light. No, it's still shooting light. It's 507 right now. Alright, it's clean. Alright, well, it's clean now, Lucy. We didn't get nothing. Shooting light. It's cold, I'm freezing, it's freaking freezing out here. And I'm ready to go home and cook this duck. I apologize, we didn't get any more. I wanted to get some ducks for Lucy and polish off our limit, but it just did not happen. So that being said, we'll see you guys back in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you think that was a good idea? Oh, look at that. Are you excited, Bull Jet? Um, not after that motion though. Listen, guy, we've got the duck. We saved two of them for today's cooking episode because it's very special. We are debuting the final production ready. Are these for sale? Yeah. These are for sale. We got the duck's buffalo seasoning. Pulled at you and I. What video it was, I'm not sure. No clue. This was like four months ago. We were testing this and we got it perfected. We finally got it done and ready to rock and roll. So we're gonna do something we've never done before. He said, Banjo said duck chicken fingers. I said duck strips, but close enough. Because I was trying to feed Lucy chicken nuggies. Yeah. Didn't work. So we're doing duck strips. So what you gotta do is take your duck meat. So you're thinking like that guy, like a strip, right? Like yeah. you want a chicken strip? Yeah. Okay, so take your duck. Never done this before. It's not marinated. It's kind of like how I do jerky though. Looks about like that. We're just gonna go, you think have that guy? Yeah. Oh God, yeah. I mean, you could cut them in like half again this way if you want them to be a little I like, I like big like, strips. Okay. I like a meaty strip. Kind of the same thing, just keep cutting like this. We'll do a couple different. In case this thick boy don't don't turn out that great. It actually looks pretty good. So this duck, we, we let rest uh, overnight. Salt water got most of the blood out and that's kind of what we're dealing with right now. All right, you might be getting nuggies on this one. That's fine. Because he's just, he's not looking too good right there. So we're gonna go ahead and just give you a couple little nugs. And then we're gonna make our very own first edition buffalo style flour batter of some sort to fry. We're gonna fry it, just like chicken chicken fingers, chicken nuggets. You know, we, we've always done the hot sauce and flour, but instead we're gonna do egg wash and then make our own batter using flour and the duck seasoning. So that's gonna be the plan. Get these guys sliced up. I think they're ready to rock and roll. Are you on egg duty? Give her a crack, guy. Right oh yeah, right, right in that bowl, son. 
Can I go and use this one? Sure, whatever makes you happy. Yeah, definitely get, get three in there. Oh, that's one already. Yep. Rip. Now you got it. That was a bad crack. Now you go. go. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's do let's do three. So we're gonna start with egg. This is called egg wash. You're gonna wash your meat in the egg. There you go. Alright, start with three. Mix it up like this. Now the real question, this is the ultimate question. Are we going single, double, American made? I would what, just say single, just a light do, do you do you wanna do light dusting of flour, egg, and then spicy flour wash? Remember after yeah, you put, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, yeah, that'd be good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take some flour. This is just gonna be able to dry it off. A light dusting. Makes it stick better? Yeah, it makes, makes the egg wash stick better. So go ahead and throw your duck strips in here. We'll try with that much at first. Make sure you leave your air. And this is just a light, light, this is unseasoned flour. So we're gonna take them out of there, shake them off. See, now they're just dry. That's basically all that happened right there. Then you throw them in the egg. Yep, just like that. That's gonna help that egg stick, which is what's gonna make it taste good. Make it all crunchy. So then we've got to, you go ahead and give that a mix. Taking the buffalo seasoning, in normal flour. We're gonna make it hot. We're gonna do, we're gonna do duck nuggies. Ooh, son, that's a good stuff there. Come out fast. Yeah, I'll give it one of them. That's not too bad. We'll try that and then we might just, when you take them out, just, just a light a dusting. dusting. Cause it, you, you kind of like boil out, fry out the flavor. Before you do that, you gotta turn this on. Cause you don't want it to sit in the flour, then it gets soggy. So you need to turn the fryer on. You can let it sit in, in this as long as you want, no big deal. But you wanna make sure your fryer's ready to go. So we're gonna go turn the fryer on, let these guys soak. Give them a fresh dunk into the fryer. All right, we're out here in the garage. The frying, the frying factory. Should build something called the frying factory. Did you just now think of that? Yeah, that's a good one. It's pretty Write that one now. All right, so we're going in on these guys. Duck's been sitting in that egg for a bit. Ooh yeah, sticking pretty good. We'll do one, one round and kind of see how it is. See how the oil temp is. See if we need any adjustments. You never want to fry all your, your food in like one, one big swing. At least if you're a male, because if you mess it up, there's no going back. Do a couple batches, better that way. So, keep some air in the bag. Seal it up. Give it the old shape. All right, let's, ooh. They're not looking pretty good, actually. All right, Mel, what do you think, my guy? You want some duck nuggies? Woo! Dude, that's spicy. Ooh, you hear, that, chicken you hear that sizzle? Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Oh god, yeah. What if this is the way to cook duck banjo? Be. I feel like I've fried had duck. a restaurant like this. Like just like this, fried? Yeah. yeah. Really? It's called duck strips as an appetizer. It wasn't bad. Alright, here we go. Mm. Oh, that oil temp is money. Eww. Eww. What if they look black? Eww. Banjo, these are not gonna look good. What do you mean? Look at them. They'll be fine. They look a little gray. That's what it turns out. You think right. it's gonna be white? No, I just didn't think <laughs> that looks gross. That looks disgusting. The there's no way they there's the no battery. way they sell that sold this at a restaurant. Yeah, the battery. You have to like quadruple dip it. Maybe we can we can double dunk it on this next round. That's why you see it's why you don't do it all at once. That literally <laughs> looks like a raccoon or some bag of weenies. Maybe it'll taste good though. You put a little of that buffalo on. Oh, it'll, it'll, I'm sure it'll taste fine. It's just the, it doesn't look appealing. We're gonna we're gonna triple dunk this next round. Make sure it looks a little bit better than this one, but. All right, I've seen uh, I've seen better looking food. I'll tell you that much. That's a light light batter, but I def yeah. Look at that. We have that seasoning. I'm grabbing it. Oh, we need that seasoning. This is gonna save our day here. A little bit of that on top. There we go. Yeah. That came from the beefcake kitchen. I that yeah. that's that's a doozy there. That looks like a little nut sack. Play that's all wrinkled and stuff. Tell me it don't. All right, well let's let's triple quadruple dunk this next one. Let me shake this up. Oh my. We're just gonna do it. <laughs> All right, so this did not come out as planned, okay? We need more flour, like a lot more flour. And more eggs. Look what this thing looks like. This is, this came, look at that. That looks great. This is straight from the beefcake kitchen. Oh. Millie likes it. Millie, you like this? <gasps> I thought you said you get better, like, while you go on, like, each time. We need a lot more flour. Pull them apart and re-flour and season them, you'd be all right, but way too much oh, work. God. I'm not eating that. What if it's the what if it's gas? I'm not eating that. Duck balls. That's big a, duck balls. That's a big ball. That was like a full like breast and a half. Like a duck and a half. That's like two breasts. Dude, it low key looks better. Look at this though. Alright, I'm trying this. I'm not sure what's better right now. This is disgusting. This I'm not proud of this moment. Right, I thought we were supposed it? to get better over the season. That looked a little tough. No. Honestly it's not that bad. Really? Better than I expected after looking at it. 
Tastes like raccoon. The flavor of it's good though, like the batter. You get that spiciness. I think our batter to meat ratio is way off. Mm -hmm. We need to do like popcorn yeah. chicken. That's what we need to do. But it's really not that bad. It looks way worse than this. That's disgusting. What's that? I have to stop right there. This is edible. Barely. Barely? Barely. Not that the, there's not enough batter. It needs more, way more batter, but it doesn't really taste bad. Like, it doesn't taste gamey. I, I got a little game in mind. I got just spiciness, buffalo. Really? The breading that has the seasoning in it is the best part. Yeah. That is so bad. Hey, we're innovative over here. Cool jet, taste this. I'm not sure I want to anymore. I, I mean, want this little guy. You're gonna be like, yeah, Pleasure. it's not great. It's edible, barely. No, definitely not the best we've had. It tastes a lot like fried raccoon. I've never had it's that. Not quite, it's not quite as chewy. It's not mm. as like stringy. Flavor's good. Flavor's if good. If you had more batter, it could be really good, right? I think small, mm. less meat and a lot yeah, more batter. less meat, more batter. Like a lot more mm -hmm. batter. Yeah. Like it's gotta be like an oh, over, yeah. overwhelming amount. I mean, this isn't even cooking. <laughs> it's, it's stuck, I think. Dad. What do I do with this? There you go, yeah. Millie. What do you think? Oh, she, she said that was gas. There you go, Finn. Kind of spicy. You might have a shit later. Well, I don't think she tastes. This makes like better dog food than human food, I would say. Batter. We. Do you know what happened? That we got bad. off our frying game for so long, Banjo. Yeah, you're not an expert anymore. Dude, I used to be able to take a, a turd. I'd make that thing edible. It float. It float. I'd get it floating just like this guy. Hey, I get my. I think I got. I got off my game because that. That's this disappointment. That looks good. This is pure disappointment. I feel embarrassed. You guys have to stay tuned. I'm, I'll redeem myself. I promise. We just. We got to get better. I just. I've never fried duck. I wasn't knowing what else. I'm used to the fish, the frog legs, not the same strap. I think when you stick the chicken from I think you should give that to Macy. If I walk in the house with that thing, I will not be sleeping in this house tonight. I can tell you that much. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I've got today for you guys. I apologize. The cooking sucked. I would not, I would, I'm not going to say I wouldn't recommend duck frying duck, but make them little balls in lots of flour, maybe even like a beer batter. Just like you need a lot of cake on there. A little, lot, lot of batter to make it taste better. These big meaty strips were not the strap, but what it was the strap, flavor. This is, this is flavor right here. Buffalo, now available, link down below. If you guys see it and it's in stock, I would get it because we're going to sell out stock really fast, just like the other stuff. So it'll be linked down if you guys want to go check it out. That's pretty much all I've got for you. Don't make duck strips and catch you guys next time. Peace.